Hi guys, welcome to The Daily Nilu, a daily show to help you tap into that inner peace, choose love over fear, and live from inspired action. Yesterday, March 26th, was my birthday, and I decided to host a virtual birthday party, which essentially was a group of my closest friends from California, but also from around the world, getting together and uh, hanging out together for two hours on Zoom, and then I had asked a subset of those friends to share a gift with the audience. That gift was something that is a talent of theirs or a skill of theirs that they wanted to share. So some of my friends sang songs. My friend Ganav sang a song. It was beautiful. Uh, I had another friend, Diana, who ran a, what she calls basically drawing your emotions as a weather forecast. So that was a lot of fun, especially um, for uh, my nephew who was on. He's nine. I had another friend um, do a writing exercise in a very unique way of doing spoken word. Um, I had several friends write poetry for me and recite it on the call. Really, really touching, beautiful poetry. Uh, another one of my friends who called in from France, she shared a poem that she had previously written. I had two friends do, tell me stories, uh, do storytelling. Just really amazing. And I had one friend actually do a sound bath with singing bowls, crystal bowls, and that was uh, so beautiful. And I've only been to in-person sound baths, so to have a virtual sound bath during this time that we can uh, really use the stillness and the healing power of music was, I was so appreciative. So thank you if you're watching uh, for the people that were on last night to celebrate with me and the people who performed. Thank you so much. It was beautiful and everyone had a, such a great time and it was actually really intimate surprisingly really intimate so if you have a birthday coming up uh, or some type of anniversary something you want to celebrate and you're feeling kind of down because you know we're in quarantine know that we have the power of the internet and uh, most of us not everyone but most of us have a device that we can use to connect with anyone essentially from anywhere around the world and um, be creative, tap into your networks, uh, allow people time to shine. People love to share about what they love and what they're good at. So give them that space to share, to shine, and you will shine even more brightly with them because you're holding that space for them. That's why I love to do interview shows, uh, interview episodes where I, get to bring someone pretty amazing that I just met or I've known for some time and, and allow them to shine uh, in this uh, uh, platform for the Daily Nilu and have introduced them to the audience. It's a win-win-win. Um, so that's my idea for you for today to tap into your networks and get to know your friends even more intimately during this time of quarantine. It's a physical distancing. It's not a social distancing. So let's change the language a little bit there. Uh, I think social distancing. Um, I've been witnessing a lot of social distancing in that, you know, I go to like, if you have to go to the grocery store, people are standing in line. Nobody wants to talk to each other. I mean, the people are so frightened and in a state of anxiety that yes, you can keep your physical distance, but you can still interact. You can smile. Um, you can say hello. You can say, have a great day. So let's, um, use physical distancing language instead of social and I think that will just that language change will help us be a little bit more compassionate towards each other be more humanistic about this um, and use the amazing internet the amazing um, technology at your fingertips to still connect with people so that's all for today I hope this idea of a virtual party serves you and if it does if you've tried it, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to read those and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.